All right, in this video, a little show and tell. I got a request from a user asking about what's some good apps or what's apps that I use for Android customization and theming. Um, so I want to share those with you. And before I jump into those, like I'm going to be talking about launchers and uh, a, a new task or plugin that I've started using. I, I like it. It works pretty good. I'm going to talk about that, but hang out for a minute for that. Before I jump into it, I do need some help. For those of you who are good at regular expressions, regex, uh, please hit me up. Leave a comment below. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how you handle your regular expressions. I've done two tutorials on regular expressions in KOWP, but I'm trying to streamline that, make it a little bit better, faster, before I can do this tutorial here. Um, so those of you who requested the sports score, tickers, and schedules, I did get two requests, Strat Cat and Rogerio, and there was one more person I forgot to add that name here. I will get something i don't know what it's going to be but i, I want to fine tune some of my klwp and coding skills or whatever before i actually uh, make that tutorial um again you can always get the upcoming toots here or where i've got a request and maybe i'll do something maybe i won't you can always find that right down there now back to this video so things that i'm using i get this question quite often what emulator i know i've mentioned that in a previous video or maybe I've mentioned it in a couple of videos. I, I was using Samsung SideSync. I've started using Visor over the past two weeks. I'm testing it out. I'm not saying I'm going to use it forever. I'm, I'm doing a monthly subscription. You can get this for free. Uh, the developer of Visor right now is very active. He has a G Plus community set up. Um, I've asked a couple of questions. He's been the one to reply back. So um, kudos to him. I can't remember his name right now. Like I said, I just started using it. Uh, Samsung SideSync, a couple of things that didn't work well for me, whether it been my MacBook or my Wacom tablet, but it just didn't like my setup. Samsung SideSync was not a big fan of my setup, whether it be my Wacom tablet or my MacBook Pro keyboard. Sometimes the shift key would not work, so I could not type functions on my keyboard into the cell phone. Well, Visor will do that. I have not had any issues yet with typing on my keyboard and having the stuff show up correctly on my cell phone. I can copy and paste into it just fine as well. Samsung SideSync also got a little confused with my Wacom tablet, whether I was touching, like here I'm double tapping to bring up my dock in my launcher, but uh, Samsung SideSync got a little confused. Sometimes it thought I was holding down and it would bring this up when I was actually trying to tap. So that's another little thing that Visor's doing a little bit better. Um, something I have noticed though, sometimes the scrolling can get a little bit weird. Um, now, I'm scrolling with my finger to go back and forth between these two pages in KLWP, and, and it works smooth. Now, I think it's my Wacom tablet, I'm pretty sure, but if I try to do that again, see how it kind of gets hung? It's like a half scroll, and you know, if I can flick it just right, I think it's my Wacom tablet. There it goes. See that? Let's see if I can flick it back. It's back there somewhere. But it, I, I was using my other tablet that I have, too. I have a couple of Wacom tablets because I use them on a daily basis to teach. Um, it, the scrolling works good on that one. So it, it may just be the Wacom tablet. I don't know. But there's Visor. Um, some other little perks about it that I'm liking better than Samsung SideSync. It appears to not use as many resources or slow my computer down as much as Samsung SideSync did. Not that Samsung SideSync really slowed it down at all, or it slowed it down a little bit. But then again, y'all, I'm using a 2010 MacBook Pro. Uh, this thing, you know, that's, it's going on seven years old. It's been, it's been a trooper for real. <laughs> I teach with it every day. Uh, I give, I make math tutorials, KOWP tutorials on it. I tutor with it. Um, I mean, it's been a great laptop. I am slowly saving up for a new one, something with a little bit more uh, grunt on the back end so I can multitask better with it, but that's neither here nor there. So visor is what I'm using. I may go back to Samsung SideSync. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So you may see any one of these two emulators up here. Nova Launcher is the launcher that I use. It allows me to toggle my dock. Also inside of my dock using Nova Launcher, we can make multiple pages. Now I'm using my finger right now to actually swipe because the scroll thing, see how that I think it's the Wacom tablet again that's causing the scrolling issue. But if I use my finger, you know, you can have multiple pages on your dock. We can double tap to make the dock go away. We can also swipe down to uh, display our notifications. We can swipe back up. That's all Nova Launcher. And then we can swipe up from the home screen to get to our applications window. And all these are gestures built into Nova Launcher. So just to show you a few of those, again, this is not a full-fledged tutorial, not a review, just a little show and tell. So inside of the dock, 
if we scroll down and look we'll have to take this little setting off but you can adjust icon size the number of pages I have like four pages on my dock that's how you saw all those icons scrolling infinite scroll I have it so I can keep on looping through them and this does need to be set as what well, for me I like to have it set as an overlay that way when I open an app and from my dock the dock will automatically close I mean you don't have to do that but nonetheless just showing you that other things the way I get it to work gestures and inputs these are the three gestures that I use. Swipe up brings up the app drawer. Swipe down expands the notifications. Double tap will toggle the dock. And you can have many more gestures. I don't use these. They are set to something, but I've, I, I might uh, mishap and do one from time to time, but I don't really use them. But you can uh, customize a lot of gestures, just like any other launcher. I mean, a lot of launchers out there do the same stuff. I've been using Nova for two years. I, when I first got into theming, customizing, and all that stuff, I tried, I don't know, probably half a dozen I don't know how many launchers I tried. I downloaded a bunch of them. And Nova was the one that I decided to stick with. Um, it works great. That's just me. Lightning launcher, I want to like it because I want to learn how to use it a little bit more. Um, time is a real big issue for me right now. Just trying to find, I want to learn these new things on top of the things that I'm doing right now. But trying to find time is a little bit crazy. And then uh, what was the other thing I had to show you here? Oh, yeah, the look and feel. This is where I can go to hide my notification bar. So notice show notification bar is not toggled on. That's why the notification bar is hidden on my home screen. All right, so that's the launcher. Tasker, when I first started using KOWP in Tasker, I actually started off, I started off with Zuper Widget. A lot of us did. I was not good at Zuper Widget. I only used Zuper Widget for about two months before I found KOWP, and there was people been using Zuper Widget forever and a day. Um, and Tasker's been around for a long time. But when I first got into KOWP and I started getting a little bit better at it, I was like, okay, I don't want to use a lot of Tasker stuff in my KOWP stuff. Well, I'm totally thinking opposite now. Um, a lot of things that I do in KOWP, I link Tasker in somehow. Some of my future tutorials are going to be heavily Tasker integrated based on the request I'm getting, and I'm just realizing, hey, why not? Why not use Tasker and KOWP together? They work great together. Um, as you can see in some of my previous tutorials, auto input, these are some of the plugins. Uh, J.O., I, I don't even want to try, try to pronounce this guy's name, but the developer of auto apps, auto notifications, auto remote, auto web, auto voice, I've done some tutorials on some of these auto things. He is a genius. He makes some great plugins for Tasker. There's also one more plugin that I started using recently called the Snack Bar. I think the developer's name is name's Nick, I think. I can't remember his last name. I just got Snack Bar uh, right around the same time I got Visor because here was something I was experiencing. Samsung SideSync, when my phone was connected to Samsung SideSync, my screen would always stay on as long as it was connected and, you know, emulating the screen. Visor did not do that. Well, you don't need Snack Bar to do this, but Snack Bar is a pretty cool plug-in. It's integrated with Tasker. And I'm, here's my little Snack Bar plug-in right here. It brings up a Snack Bar. I think that's what they call this thing, Snack Bar. It, maybe you see it when you want to choose a default app or when you want to share something. It brings up these multiple ways you can share. You can create that thing using the Snack Bar Tasker plugin. So, and, uh, you know, if I want to make a video, and so if I tap on 10 minutes, it says time out is 10 minutes. And that's going to tell, or that, that's going to let my device stay on. Samsung SideSync would automatically keep the screen on. Visor just cuts off if I don't touch it. And sometimes I get to rambling like I'm doing right now, and I don't touch my screen. I don't tap up here on this or whatever. So, Nonetheless, I want you to uh, keep that in mind. Visor, you might have to change your timeout settings for your screen uh, versus Samsung SideSync. It always just kept it on. And then when I'm done with the video, I just open up that little snack bar plug-in that I created, and I come back down here and I tap 10 seconds. So my timeout is 10 seconds. But let me go back and change that because I'm still doing this video. So 10 minutes. All right. And then I've talked about this again, but I know I've got a bunch of videos with KOWP and stuff. So kind of bringing it all together into one snap, swipe, drawer. This is something that you can access. It's like a little notification thing from the, and I use the top left hand corner. I've done a video on it. I've talked about it quite a bit in detail there. If you have any questions, leave those questions below. But the cool thing about snap, swipe, drawer, 
I can integrate my KWGT widgets into it, like a little battery graph, which needs some work, or maybe it's my phone, because my phone did not stay at this charge level. It's been doing that for a while now. I don't know what's up with that, but um, I'll look for a fix sometime in the near future. Uh, you can put your KWGT widgets, put little whatever widgets you normally put on your home screen. This is a place to keep them in snap swipe drawer. I keep my calendar there. I keep my weather there. That's two things I depend on my phone for uh, besides just theming and Android customization. Uh, a calendar. I, I stay on the go, so definitely want that. I'm a weather guy. We just got made it through Hurricane Matthew. I mean, nearly, I think we got about eight inches of rain. We fared okay, but a lot of folks around here, there are schools that are still out of school today, and the hurricane left Sunday, and it's Thursday right now. A couple of bridges washed out. Um, some major highways and interstates uh, had some damage to them. So, I mean, it, it, it was a catastrophic event. If you're from around this area, it was just like almost Hurricane Floyd all over again back in 99. But, but uh, yeah. So, you know, I wanted to show you those things. I got the request for it. Those are some things I use to customize my Android device. Are there other things that I use? Sure, I, I've just... I downloaded it and bought Automate the other day just to play around with it, see what it was. I, it does. I think it has Tasker integration. Um, it, apparently, I hear it has a nice user interface. Uh, what are some other things? Um, Weather Ace. I did a tutorial on that. I don't have a lot of apps really. I don't think I do. Um, I, I mean, I got a couple of games up here. Sky View. That's a cool app. Check that out if you like looking at the stars and the moon and the rings on Saturn if you have a telescope. But um. Yeah, AZ Screen Recorder. Ooh, if you want to record your cell phone screen, go ahead and buy that app because it's, uh, it works great. I've done a couple of t KOW t KOWP tutorials uh, using the screen recorder. Um, that's for those of you who don't want to connect your phone to your computer or whatever. But, um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And, again, if you're good at regular expressions, please leave a comment. I would like to ask you a few questions. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.